Hello there. We just reached the Baha'i Temple in care of Touristique, and today happens to be Friday, October the 20th, 2023. I'm Howard Paul Shore with Alejandro. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Thanks for taking us here. No, you're welcome for being here. We're looking forward to a great tour. Thank you. Okay, and I have with me, como te llamas? Ayelin. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? De Daneiras? De Mugo. Nice to meet you. And your name? Aide. Nice to meet you. Temuco too? Temuco también. Fantastic. And como te llamas? Paula. De Daneiras? Colombia. And Judith. Columbia. Fantastic. Okay. And I'm Howard Paul Shore, of course, and we're going to continue our tour and uh, enjoy the day here. It looks like a beautiful place, as you can see. Look at that dome. Wow. <laughs> All right. Talk to you really soon. Hello there. I have with me Layla, who is my tour guide at the Baha'i Temple, and I'm so happy to be here. Hello. I'm happy to be here, too. My first time visiting a Baha'i Temple ever. That's super exciting because there's one on each continent. So this is the one for South America. Okay. There's one in um, Panama, the U.S. and Chicago, India, Germany, um, Samoa, and Australia, too. But all of the Baha'i Temples serve the same purpose, which is for prayer, meditation, and self-reflection. Mm -hmm. um, and they all were inspired by different things. So this temple was specifically inspired by unity and light. And so it's called the Temple of Light. Um, a little bit about the architecture. On the outside, it's made out of molten glass and the inside of translucent marble. So then with those materials, the light can pass through and kind of illuminate the whole space. It's super cool. Um, also, all of the Baha'i temples, I'm not sure if you've been to, you haven't been to any of the other ones, right? None. None. Okay, so this is your first one. If you go to any of the others, you might see this similarity. But all the Baha'i temples have nine doors, nine pillars, and nine water pools because the number nine is the number of excellence in the Baha'i faith. Um, also, when you enter the temple, you'll see in the cupola, there's an inscription in Arabic, and this is the same in every temple. Um, and it's pronounced Ya Baha'u'llah Pa, and it means, O oh thou glory of glories. It's like a praise to God that's really important for the Baha'is around the world. Um, and it's there, and you can see it in that picture. Okay. That's the inside of the temple that you won't be able to take a picture of. Oh, okay. So you can see it here. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Um, what could you show me on the outside that might be of importance? Yeah, so um, you'll, when you get up there, you'll see the, their water pools. So there are the nine water pools, and then you can touch the glass, you can touch the marble. Um, and that is, that's kind of the, the materials that help the light go through and illuminate the whole space. And that's a little bit um, about about the motivation behind this temple, the inspiration. Um, and once you're inside the temple too, you guys won't be able to see this, but you'll be able to see this. Um, each column, each of the nine columns has a quote from the founder of Baha'i Faith, Baha'u'llah, about either um, unity or light. They're in Spanish, but I'll translate one of them. It says, so powerful is the light of unity that it can illuminate all of the lands. Um, and so sometimes for Baha'i holy days, we'll light up this temple at night for a couple hours. Um, and it's like completely, completely dark here. And then there's this beacon of light and you can see it from way out in Santiago. Wow. So it's like a, a really cool beacon. Oh, great. A um, little bit more. When you enter the temple, there are prayer books, Baha'i prayer books in Spanish. But they're presents to everyone if you want to take one, take okay. home with you, translate them later. Okay. Um, and then also just a little bit about the purpose of these temples. So Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i Faith, um, wanted to create these sacred spaces to promote unity of mankind. And so because of that, all of the Baha'i temples are open to everybody. It doesn't matter your religion, your age, your race. Everybody can use these spaces um, as a sacred space to come and pray, to reflect, to meditate, um, and just kind of promote unity of mankind. And then, um, have you heard anything about the Baha'i Faith before? Um, I think it represents several religions combined. Um, or ideas, maybe? So, that could be, that could be a variation, kind of. So, the idea of the Baha'i Faith is that we believe in one God. And so that we believe that the manifestations that have come from God are coming from the same God. So we believe in Jesus and Muhammad and Moses and Abraham. We believe that they were all manifestations from God. Um, from the same God, and then we also believe in our manifestations from God. So Baha'u'llah, that came and is promoting this new message for, for now, basically. So That's it's amazing. kind of like progressive revelation. Um, I kind of think of it as like software updates for mankind. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything on the outside you could show me? Can we like, walk near the, the dome, I guess you call it, on the yeah, outside? Yeah, we could walk around the dome. Can we'll, we? We'll walk through the gardens, so it's in like an S shape. 
Um, from the outside, of course. Yeah, from the outside, we'll walk through the gardens, and it kind of gets you in like a meditative headspace. Okay. And then um, you can enter the dome when it, or the, the temple whenever you are okay. ready. Okay, I'm going to put this on pause, and yeah. we'll continue walking. So, Layla, can you tell me about where we are right now? Yeah, so we're kind of in the middle of the stairway up to the temple. So you can see it here, and you can see all the gardens that surround it. Um, yeah, do a little turn. Beautiful. And so the idea behind the gardens is that you kind of pass through the pathway on your way up to the temple to kind of get into a meditative headspace um, and then kind of relax yourself. And then so that when you enter the temple, you're kind of ready to be with your thoughts, be with prayer, um, do whatever you need to, self-reflect, um, and kind of get the most out of the experience. Because when you're in the temple, um, it's pretty a unique feeling because you're surrounded by other people who are also reflecting, who are meditating, um, and it's completely silent. You can hear the birds chirping outside, but if you look out the windows, you'll be surrounded by nature. So it's pretty, um, pretty relaxing, I would say. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. So anyway, I want to thank you so much for this uh, wonderful outdoor tour. Yeah, of course. And any if anyone's coming to Santiago, Chile, please check out the Baha'i Temple. Thanks so much, and Bye. have a great day. <laughs>